Auburn is a land grant school, uh, 25,000 uh, students, like I say, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that's a board policy, so we're not growing any beyond the 25,000. Uh, pretty uh, rigorous admission standards. We're at about uh, 27, 28 for an average ACT for kids that are here. Well, if you think about the agricultural side, uh, I think you have to realize with the projected world population growth, you've got about 37 growing seasons to double food capacity worldwide. That's a phenomenal challenge for a land-grant university to supply the individuals in those areas. It's always interesting to me uh, when we look at job placement, our kids in agriculture uh, typically will have more job offers than any other of our degrees. I'd have to say that the land grants over the century and a half that they've been in place have certainly given opportunities to a tremendous number of young people that if you go back to the 1860s would not have been uh, a part of uh, American college activities or life. And I'm always going to be a firm believer that uh, there's not a place for arrogance in land-grant universities. We are a place where you should give kids that chance to try to use the talents they have to achieve things, uh, not only for kids in the U.S., but really worldwide now. You have, to, you have to get up each morning and realize that we're in the business of trying to help people achieve their hopes and dreams. So a kid comes to us, they got hopes and dreams about what they want to do. And if a university really works to try to help that individual achieve their hopes and dreams, then we're doing our job. When you get up every day and uh, you're reading the newspaper about all the things going on in the world, and you sit back and say, you know, we can make some difference in that through the kids that we produce. Throughout my career, uh, over 40 years, that I'd have to say that those few years at Michigan State were absolutely defining and being able to do the things that I've been able to do. And they gave you the background, not only in the technical fields, but they gave you the background in the human skills and in the, I'd say the management and administrative skills that my career path has followed. And uh, so I'll always be indebted to the faculty at Michigan State for taking someone that had a little talent and working with them and doing the best they could with what they had.